let's see how do we turn this on that's how we turn that on okay down or up down halfway halfway is where we're gonna leave that one <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Dingle here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, why don't we just get this out of the way and subscribe down below because you clicked on this video for a reason and you know you want to click the subscribe button. So, I'll wait for that. Okay, cool, you clicked it. Let's get started. So I've been kind of like thinking and like muddying around and pondering in my head a little bit about this new concept called New Makeup Monday. Because there's always new makeup products that are coming out and I feel like there's too many to do reviews on. Like I could do a video with like all new makeup, blah, 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 but I'm not rich enough to buy all the new makeup and I only usually buy like one product at a time that I really, really want and that I've been keeping my eye on. So I thought, that every first Monday of the month I would just post a quick review of one new makeup product that has come out because I want to try them out and I hope that it'll help somebody else. Somebody else. Mm. Hope that it'll help somebody else out there that's wondering about the new product as well. Disclaimer though, I am the farthest, farthest from beauty guru, expert, makeup artist person. I'm simply just somebody that really enjoys makeup and keeps my eye out for new makeup. I have my favorite brands of makeup, so I don't think I suck at makeup, but I'm definitely not guru status. I think most of you out there can actually relate to me. I hope that these reviews just aren't super intimidating because I honestly am just like you guys. I just like trying makeup. So keep on watching if that's something that you're into. So for my first Makeup Monday review, I am so excited about this. Too Faced just released their Sweet Peach and Cream, I hope I'm saying that right, line of makeup. And I've been looking for a new foundation to wear. I have my summer foundation that I normally wear, except it's becoming like not summer, it's Labor Day weekend right now, and it's officially turning fall very, very soon, which means my skin is not going to be as glowy tan that it normally is, unfortunately, in the summertime. That means I need a new makeup. I was even more excited when I saw that the foundation that was in this new Too Faced line was matte because my skin is very oily. It gets oily very quickly and I need something that's not going to release the kraken of all the oils in my face. I picked up myself this little puppy here. It is the, I can't read backwards, what the heck does this say? It is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, and this is what the package says. It is infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Is that like real? Or is that just like fake for their line? That would be really cool. It's transfer resistant and it is medium coverage. I got the shade Nude. I like tested them all out in the store and I felt like nude was the best way to go. The Peach Perfect is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream in our exclusive Comfort Matte Long Wearing 14 Hour Formula. It really is, it really is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream. So that's kind of really awesome and super natural actually. That's really cool. It's 14 hour wear. So the fact that it's matte and it's also a 14 hour wear makes me very excited that it won't produce a lot of oil in my face or at least let it like come through a lot because it's supposed to be 14 hours. So I'm like really excited about this. A modern way to wear matte foundation, photo friendly, smooth, flawless, and comfortable with a soft focus velvety finish. Oil free, which is a huge, huge, that's huge. So huge. 14 hour wear, oil controlling, Aww. photo friendly, shine free. This sounds awesome. I hope it doesn't disappoint me because I am a huge fan of the Too Faced brand and I really, really, really wanted to wear their foundation, but their last Born This Way foundation, I saw in a lot of YouTube videos that it was not very good for oily skin. Like I saw they would do like the wear throughout the day and they'd come back and it was like kind of oily. So I was really bummed about it, but I'm so excited that they came out with a matte one for oily skin. Like, this is great. I'm gonna try this out for you guys. All right, get this puppy out. Ooh, the tube though. Can we talk about this tube for a moment? Let's talk about this tube, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Okay, so it, I mean, this gold is beautiful. This tube just, it's very casual and I'm kind of loving it and it just has like the peach on it and it's so cute. I love it. I'm gonna take this off. Oh, it's, it's 
to pop off. It's not a twist off. Cool. And it's got a little pump applicator, even though it looks like a tube, which is kind of nifty. It's got a pump applicator. So let's see what it looks like on. Is it going to come out ever? All right. See there, it is a little runny, which is interesting, which kind of makes me believe that it's kind of oily, but maybe not, maybe not. That doesn't necessarily mean that, so I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna take what I just put on. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a really good match. I'm just gonna use my viewfinder so that you guys can see firsthand what I'm doing. All right, I might want to layer some of that on depending on how this goes but we shall see it feels really good and it's blending extremely easily like really really easily oh that's nice yes i have not looked up reviews of this myself i kind of just went off on a whim oh i didn't even realize that it was so good smelling i should have known should have known that's not a real song, I just made that up. All right, so, so far my skin is looking pretty flawless. I'm a huge fan of medium coverage foundations anyway because I don't feel like it's caking on and it doesn't feel like anything's really on my skin right now, which is kind of cool because it is matte and that's normally not the effect you get, but so far so good. I'm just gonna put a little bit more in the areas where I feel like that I want more because that's just how we're gonna do this. I feel like when I'm doing videos, I have to like explain every single reason why I'm like doing what I'm doing but to be honest it's just because I want to I think uh, I need some there and I think I just need a little bit more down like the center of my neck so immediately when I go back in with the foundation na, 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 na. I find that it is buildable so if you do want to add more it's building quite nicely so if you are into more coverage you can accomplish that with this so that's really really great I already feel the mattifying effects of this I'm really excited about it like I'm constantly on the hunt for stuff that will not make my skin oily because I hate it the match is really good for my skin and <laughs> I'm normally not very good at making really good matches so so thumbs up to myself. <laughs> As you can see, it just looks so, I don't know, it just, it smoothed out my skin. Feels very matte right now, but not drying. Really happy so far. It feels amazing. I love this coverage. Again, if you are more of a full, full coverage type of person, I would just urge you to find a different foundation. No, <laughs> just urge you to use more layers of it, and I'm sure you could get that effect, but for me, Medium coverage is where it's at. All right, I'm gonna do just the rest of my makeup real quick, and I'll see you guys in a second. Here is the finished look for you guys. I still am loving how all of the products went on to the foundation. It was seamless. The only thing, because I wanna be honest with you all, the only thing that I did have trouble with was blending the concealer onto my face. I use the Tarte Shape Tape for under my eyes and uh, like on my nose and just on my chin and things like that. And it was a little more difficult to blend this concealer than it normally is. Not a huge deal. I was obviously able to blend it. That's just the only thing I noticed. The bronzer went on so smooth. I used the Hoola Benefit bronzer powder, my eyeshadows, not that I like put a ton of foundation like on my eyeshadows, everything blended really really well there, blush went on really nicely, I use an hourglass blush, <laughs> and I'm still very happy, my skin feels really good still, I'm gonna go do a few errands, go do some shopping, we go to home goods. Mm. And I'm gonna check back in later in the day, a few hours later, and let you guys know how it's doing. Hello. So it is a few hours later, exactly three, four, five, one, no. It's like four to five hours later, and I am still going strong. Like, I'm not seeing any signs of oil. No oil, no oil on these. Puppies. The other makeup is staying really well too. I got a little butthole lip going on, but that's not the foundation, that's just the lipstick. So I'm gonna do a little bit of housework, a little bit of laundry, and like change out the sheets and all that. So let's put it to the test. It's a little toasty in the apartment, so we'll see how it withstands a little bit of some man work. Mm. 
<laughs> I'll check back in a few. Hello, I am back after a few more hours. It is now dark outside. I've been going around the apartment. I did laundry, I ate dinner, I did some more chores, I cleaned the, hi hippo. I switched the bed sheets, I remade the bed. I've been doing like a lot of stuff, sweating up a storm. And let's see how the foundation's been doing. See my ring light like in my eyes, it's so cool. I'm like a YouTuber or something. So my lipstick did rub off a little bit here while I was eating dinner. <laughs> But as you can see, I am not feeling really at all. Like that's after rubbing my face just now. It is holding up so nicely. And normally when I try foundations that are um, like oil inducing, it only takes like an hour for the oil to show up. If the oil's not showing up after like five to eight hours of me wearing this, that is a really, really good sign. Like I will go for this foundation now in my makeup bag as the summer fades and fall comes and my skin tone goes more towards that nude versus like beigey tone. I will definitely be picking up this foundation over and over again. Thank you guys so much for coming in and watching. If you're new here, do not forget to subscribe on your way out because you know you want to. If you stuck along with us for this long, just smash the subscribe button because I'd love to see you back here and if you did like this video don't forget to actually like it because it lets me know that you like it and I will catch you all next time see you later